Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create charts, nice pretty charts like this one here, inside ChatGPT4. So here's an example, which of course you can download and use as a scalable vector graphic. And here's an example, here's just two examples that I cooked up in ChatGPT4. So let's start from the beginning and I'll show you how it works. So here we go, I've got a new chat set up. I'm gonna click on GPT-4 and then when I hover over the button, you'll notice here that I have plugins. There's a check mark beside plugins. When I click on plugins, you'll see here that I've got this plugin installed and it's called, it's called part of me, Diagram. Yeah, it's a pretty good name, I suppose. Dot AM, I don't know what that means, but whatever. If you don't have yours installed, just click on the plugin store and then all you gotta do is just type it in here. D-I, oops, D-A-I, there it is. Daygram, oops, not diagram, daygram. And then just click on the install button beside it like I've done here. Okay, good. You're following with me now, making sure that you're hovering over plugins, then plugins are selected. And daygram is got the blue check mark. All you gotta do is type in some data. So I'm just gonna copy paste some data here. Create a pie chart from this data, survey of 145 people. Ask them which is the nicest fruit. Apple 35, orange equals 30, banana equals 35, kiwi 25, etc., etc. All right, cool. You'll notice here that I asked it to create a pie chart. This can be easily set up to be a bar chart or a line chart. Um, not sure if there's any other charts at the moment, but they will be using more charts, no doubt, in the future. Once that is done, you'll see here that it's using Daygram. And it's going to go ahead now and cook me up a an example. That example will look exactly like this. And then while this is cooking over on the left side here, I'm going to go ahead and show you a next step. Once you've got the image, it allows you to click on it. You can actually just right click on this image and then go save as. Here's the part where you want to be a little careful. It just saves it as like this sort of randomly number looking thing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to, what is this, a pie chart? I'm going to go pi.s. VG. So you'll notice here that I'm I'm directly calling it a scalable vector graphic. So dot SVG is important. And then I'm just going to click save. And then you'll see here that it's downloaded and pi dot SVG. I'm just going to go show in Finder now or Windows Explorer. And presto, you'll see here that I've got the SVG. And if you want to test it, like I've tested it here, you'll see here that it opens up and it is a scalable vector graphic that you can go ahead and take a look at. So there you go. That's how you do it. Remember pie charts, bar charts. Uh, if you And also, yeah, if you want to click on the link, this is what you get when it's done. It shows it to you in the uh, in chat GPT-4, and then you can click on the link and it will open it up just like it did last time. So there you go, guys. That's all there is to diagram. Thanks a lot.